What's up, team leaders? Um, I'm going to keep this short so it's easy for you guys to watch. Um, Bethany and Sarah were the only ones that provided questions, and um, that's awesome. So I thank you for that guy, for that. Um, I think I'll be adding a few of Courtney's coaches in this chat group so that we have more leaders in here pushing each other, building businesses, helping the team out, and on the Sunday night uh, leadership calls, which uh, Bethany, um, Annie, and Sarah were on. Um, so Bethany is wanting to, do, wanting to know what, how to get to Emerald, what next step she needs to take. Biggest thing is Emerald, it's just two people. You're signing up two people to coach. I did it in a week as soon as I was told what to do. I told Courtney I'm signing her up. I told my mom they're signing up. Um, I said this is going to help my business out. So usually when you get to Emerald, it's going to be people in your family and friends who are probably going to be discount coaches to help you get started with your business. You're more than welcome to invite other people too, like definitely do that, but usually it's going to be a family and friend that gets you to Emerald. Um, and how you do that is just offer them the, the business opportunity. Sorry, Zoe. Zoe, get out of the food. Um, the opportunity for the business, the team, the support, the opportunity for them to build their own business. They get discounts on the products and programs. You just got to talk to people. You just got to open up and not be afraid and say, hey, I'm starting this business. It's helping people with health and fitness and you just get them signed up whether they want the discounts, whether they want to build a business, whether they want to get in better shape, whatnot. You just got to approach people and do it. And once you get to Emerald, that's the kickstart of your business because you can start qualifying for um, bonuses. You, you're going to be earning the trips once you get to Emerald, um, qualifying for that if you work hard enough. So basically, you got to get out of your comfort zone and just talk to people. That's the biggest thing and tell them why you coach, why you signed up, the team and, and, and everything, you know. Um, so that's what I would do, Bethany. Uh, Sarah, uh, feeling overwhelmed and finding the time to, to make it work? Like I always say, it doesn't matter if you work this business 20 hours a day or an hour a day. As long as you work it every single day. Make a schedule to fit it in. If you like to have more time in the morning to work on your business, do that. If you want to do afternoon, do that. If you want to do night, do that. You just have to schedule it into your day and make it a priority. You know, Make the calls a priority making inviting, making sharing a priority. You know, if you can get that all done in the same block, cool. If you need to split it up, cool as well. And feeling overwhelmed is a choice. I was there as well, you know. It's because you bring it on yourself. And having a set schedule and a laid out time of when to do things and when you get it done helps ease that overwhelm factor. Um, because when you log into Facebook or Instagram or whatever and you got all these notifications and all this stuff, only pick and choose what you want to do at that time, you know. You don't have to do it all at once like I don't check my phone at certain times of the day I don't check Instagram messages at certain times of the day my Instagram inbox I have six messages right now not overwhelmed because I'm not answering them until later tonight you know um, so I'm choosing not to be overwhelmed and just scheduling out what fits into your day with work and school and and kids and family and all that whether whatever it may fit for you that's how you do it you know and and talking to people, making sure you're sharing your workouts every day, your, your food, going live, making videos, talking to people, offering them content, offering them challenge groups, coaching, talking about all the time. The consistency factor builds up, you know, and, and you guys are all leaders, but you have to believe in it. And the biggest thing I can tell you is if you're not doing personal development, you need to do it because if you don't believe in yourself, then you're not going to do the things I'm telling you. You're just going to nod your head and go, uh-huh, uh-huh and then not do the action and wonder why you're not successful. You have to believe you can do it, and then you do the work, and then repeat over and over again, and that's what it takes. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, I can't wait to talk to you guys Sunday on the leadership call. Like I said, I'm going to add some more people into this chat and get this blown up. This chat isn't for me. It's for you guys. So start talking and brainstorming ideas and tell how many people you talked to today and invited and, and all that. Um, Courtney and I are hosting the Save Soul on Fire call again tonight. We're just going to be going live in the group, so you don't have to do Zoom or anything. Just pop up on the Save Soul on Fire at 6 p.m. Pacific time, and it'll be us talking. So bring some more questions, uh, come support, and come enjoy it. So talk to you guys soon.